I just can't get enough of these. Oh my god! Man, it's tough out here. Water was everywhere on the ground. Um, it's currently like almost midnight. Let me just take a seat here with you guys. And the tank looks like that. What's up guys, it's your boy Chris here. Hope you guys are all having a nice day. Welcome back to Fish for Thought and today, look at what the heck we have here. Wow, that is a 55 gallon aquarium and uh, we're gonna be getting a new fish. Before we go on any further, I want you guys to put your guesses in the comments below and see which kind of fish I'm gonna be putting in here. Uh, let's limit it to three species, okay? So it's too hard to guess like right on the dot. However, if you only have one guess and you guessed it right, man, brownie points, dude, because that would be hands down pretty impressive. But limited to three guesses, hopefully at least one of them is correct. For myself, I've been teetering between wanting this fish and not wanting this fish for various reasons. And I want to give you my thought process, how I came to the conclusion of getting this particular fish and also getting this particular tank. This tank is 30 years old. The owner that had it before kept it for a very long time. This is handcrafted, handcrafted wood. But there's more to it, I will explain later on. First of all, we gotta get this skate. Look at this beautiful piece of wood that I found just foraging, foraging for wood. It's uh, it's one of my hobbies, I guess. For scale, this is my, pretty big, look at that. You know how much this would cost at the local fish store? Probably an arm and a leg, man. So we're gonna wash this up real quick right now. This stream is weak. That's a little better. Was a day and a half. It's currently like almost midnight. I've just been struggling this whole time trying to get the fluval filter working. Uh, it's a very old fluval model. It came with the tank that has been, like I said, it's it's been up for 30 years. So I guess I shouldn't have expected it to work. But yeah, the primer was not priming uh, no matter what the heck I do. I even looked online tutorials on how to prime it. It was also very loud. The owners of the tank, thankfully, they they also threw in some other things, including an underwater filter, So, and it's quite powerful. So uh, it is getting these cycles started. It is uh, moving the water around so that it's not gonna be stagnant. Um, just so happened, just the cherry on top. Uh, earlier today, I went out to look for plants, specifically java fern and anubias, because I want big, hardy, and strong plants so that fish, whichever fish I'm getting, uh, does not rip it up and that it's, it stays low maintenance for me. But the two aquariums, two local fish stores that really has a good chance of actually having Anubius Barteri and bigger Java ferns, they're closed on Mondays. Today is Monday. I can't even go to the other one if one of them is closed because they're both closed. Screw me, right? And you know what? Water was everywhere on the ground, so I had to do a lot of mopping. And at the end of everything, that's what it looks like. Uh, it's almost 12, it's almost Tuesday, and the tank looks like that. I don't know, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Whew. All right, good night's sleep. I'm ready now, let's go guys.
is tough out here. My whole arm is raisining. Jeez, this is a big tank. Oh. Just look at these beautiful Anubius Barteri. Look at that piece. Oh man, come on, let's go. I hope these grow as big as the one that I got like five, six, seven years ago. I've never had to buy more Anubius Barteri since then until now because this tank is just, you know, way too big. Even if I cut some trimmings from this beautiful decade-old Anubius Barteri, uh, which I did for that tank over there. Yikes, that zoom was horrible. <laughs> even if I did that, it would leave this tank pretty barren and it wouldn't even fill up the 55 gallon that much. But they are by far one of the best tank filler plants in the world. Yo guys, it's been a while. This tank is actually already cycled. It's awesome, it's ready to go. There's actually already fish in it. I already set up this tank with two chonkiest Siamese algae eaters you have ever seen in your life. They are rescues and they're super cute, but they are also super huge. Look at that chonker right there and over there as well. They're doing amazing in here. Look how big they are. Like, it's close to the size of my hand, for real. Now look at the mess of a lighting system I got going on. So this is a learning, time learning lesson for me and hopefully for anyone out there struggling with the same sort of deal. I got this uh, light. Let's turn the night crew off for a second. Okay, so I got this yellow light from just looking around a home hardware store and I was there to pick up some other stuff like timers and extension cords, but then I saw the light and like, yeah, this tank needs a light and I saw the price point and I saw the color spectrum and I thought, Perfect, let's go with this. It was 20 bucks, uh, considered a cheap buy. And then I fastened onto the top of the tank with some double-sided Velcro and it looks great. And it matches with the canopy of this tank. Perfect, right? But then I double-checked on the lighting spectrum. I double-checked on the hue. It gave off a pretty like yellowish tone, right? Not exactly what I'm looking for. So I wasn't happy with it. I was debating with myself whether I should spend more to get another light to do this properly. And of course, at the end of the day, the answer to that is always, yes, you should always do that. Do things properly, do things the way you just, you know, want things to end up looking. So I caved, got the night crew, cost me more money. So in the long run, w without doing the proper research and buying on impulse, thinking it was a good idea, that actually cost me more money than it should. So my plan now is to somehow get this night crew to be more stable and properly fashioned. And then I will get of the warm, LED strip. I'm gonna save that for a future project. It's not gonna be completely wasted, but for now, I totally do not need that. I've just snugly placed the ends of the night crew uh, with these little pieces of uh, granite or uh, ceramic, and also kind of pushed out these little stand pieces so that they are pushing on both sides towards the uh, wood so that it's snugly fit in there. This thing is not gonna move. And for the filter situation, I have been cycling a new Aqua Clear. It's rated for like up to 50 or 60 gallons. So this alone will be over filtration for this 20-ish uh, gallon fish tank. And this is because I want to be phasing out the Fluval canister filter. I'm gonna be moving this to the 55 gallon so we can get a bit better filtration in here. I will add it in with the internal filter so we'll over filter this bad boy right here as well. At least that is the plan for now. We'll see how that goes. These are some dwarf water lettuce and uh, she really gave me a lot for five dollars. I also threw in some Salvinia for her but it's actually my first time owning dwarf water lettuce so I'm pretty excited. They, they've always looked really cute to me. I have just some salvinia right now. I plan to cover the top quite a bit and this is a tip I would recommend to everyone because floaters will get your nutrient exchange going way faster and way more efficient than fully aquatic plants because they're able to take in the ambient CO2 and grow way faster. So the nutrient uptake or nutrient out from the tank is going to be much faster you're gonna experience lower ammonia and nitrates. Also, I just realized something. Um, I think someone on Instagram who lives close to me has offered to give me some free water lettuce and I totally forgot about that. I actually planned to uh, hit you up with that request, but I forgot and I, I just, I just went ahead and actually bought some water lettuce. So my bad if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Maybe next time. I know 
they get a little big and I know their roots get a little long so I've been waiting to save them for a big tank like this. So pretty. Look at this one. Oh my god. Look at that. Already looking like a little forest up in here. Hey baby, how you doing? Get you someone who appreciates you like I appreciate water lettuce. <laughs> They're also so nice to touch. They're a little fuzzy. Yo, didn't shave? No problem. Yo, don't trip though, Salvinia. I still got love for you, homie. Don't worry. You're still in the fam, bro. I ain't forget about you, not for a second. I'm so weird. Man, what happened? <laughs> what happened, mom? Now, as you can see, it's got sort of like a uh, forbidden or a forgotten garden look. I said forbidden. That's uh, that's something else. Like I've probably said by now, this is not the typical scape for me. I don't usually mess with, you know, artificial decor, but uh, I wanted to venture out, try something new. It's always important to try new things in this hobby, no matter what it is, really. Unless you're having abusive tendencies, then don't try out too small of a tank for too big of a fish. Never do that. Aside from that, the world is your oyster or freshwater clam. Now is the moment of truth. I'm bringing in our A-lister, our MVP, VIP of the night. Roll out the red carpet. The guest that you made during the beginning of this video, before we even introduced the POS, before we even did anything, that guess, is it gonna hold up or not? If you haven't guessed, fine, I'll let it go. This is your last time to put in that comment before we do the reveal. Come on guys, do this the legit way. Do not cheat on this. You know who you are, those of you who are tempted. Drum roll please. We don't have drum rolls. That's not within our budget. Ta-da! It's a parrot cichlid. Did you guys guess correctly? I literally just put her in here a few moments ago. I think it's a girl, judging by the fins. One of her pectoral fins is a little bit damaged, but nothing that she can heal back. Look how cute she is. I have decided to name her Tamago, which means egg in Japanese. Gee, I wonder why. It's not like she looks like an egg or anything. Look at how cute she is. Hello, Tamago-chan. I hope you're liking the place. Oh. She sees the Siamese algae eater. I hope she does not bully them too much. Is she a little bully? Right now she's kind of like in a new environment mode. So it's not truly her actual personality. It's kind of hard to believe that she's going to uh, be shy later on. Hello. Okay guys, as promised, here's a little bit more of an explanation for the tank behind me. This is actually a 180 from my initial plans to set up a 55 gallon or something bigger like that. My initial plan was to set up this like ADA sort of uh, rimless, super clean tank with uh, naturalistic wood and plant it very lush throughout. And then I would throw in like 50 to 100 neon tetras and call it Neon Tetra Forest or World of Tetra or Neon Tetra Paradise, something like something cringe like that. Although it sounds cringe, something like that would look just fantastic. And by all means, if this sounds like a good idea for you, take it and post it on YouTube and share it with me. Let me let me feature it. I want to see how cool that looks. If you've ever looked in to, to those kind of tanks. Those things are pretty expensive, pretty darn expensive. How many PS5s can I get with that? I mean, I still wanted to try to do what I envisioned. I was looking on Facebook Marketplace and I just stumbled upon this tank with a stand. And there was also some extra features like uh, the filters and the lights and all that jazz that, you know, if you've been watching this video, you now know that, and I now know that they didn't really work out. So I had to get new lights and new, uh, filters anyway. She's poking out my plants now. Bro, come on man. Don't do this. And I'm thinking of tank mates. Uh, I can't get another blood paracyclid because this tank is too small and I don't plan to upgrade. And if these two Siamese algae eaters aren't enough company for her, well, I am already thinking about uh, possibilities of dither fish. Right now she is still quite a small size. I don't want out competed when feeding time comes around. I'm gonna need help guys. Help me decide in the comments below. Write down what kind of fish uh, you would wanna see in this tank alongside Tamago. Uh, some heavy contenders right now are uh, peacock rainbows, Bosmani rainbows, perhaps angelfish, um, perhaps bleeding heart tetras or Congo tetras, maybe even emperor tetras. Oh man, she scared my Siamese algae heater into the garden pot. 
the pot that I thought she was gonna use. That's really about it for this video. This vlog actually took me around a month and a bit to film all the moving pieces. I will see you guys next time. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe. There'll be more videos to come. Don't forget to get your hands wet. I finna gone three days without furt. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang violence. No cap, that could be fat. She wanna clap. 81 Fahrenheit, my boys get that whap. Put it on my tap, three to one ratio. Breeders on the map.